All right, it's Mr. Grabo. I'm going to do my best to walk you through how to design a shoe using Google Draw. So, and we'll see how it goes. It This does turn out pretty cool. All right, so you open up your assignment in Google Draw, and you're going to want to find a picture of a shoe, and you're going to want to make sure that it's really a clear shoe and a clear image. So like this one, um, maybe not outside of the socks and the shoe combo doesn't look like it matches, at least not my style. You want it to be um, like relatively easy like this one. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm just going to hover over and right click copy image and go to shoe design. You see I had like Adidas up earlier too. Um, and then you just control V in the in your Google Draw. Now we're going to expand it and make sure that you're grabbing from the side because you don't really want to stretch this image. Now, I don't want kind of like this kicks in the back and stuff. So I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to just kind of focus in on the shoe. So I'm going to try to take the rest away. And there's these black lines that you click and drag to move over. And you can get a little bit better image of just the shoe and not all the extra and you just click crop again and now i'm going to scale it a little bit bigger don't stretch it this will be stretching your design you don't want to do that um all right so i'll take it okay now the next thing that we're going to do is um we are going to be tracing this shoe so um you just click off of it and we are going to go right up here to the select line and we are going to use this curved line now we are going to trace each different individual aspect of this shoe because then we can go back through and color it now when you are clicked on this curved line you may want to be zoomed in a little bit more so to zoom in you can do control alt plus control alt minus that will zoom into your image a little bit better so you can do these curved lines you can also use this icon right here so I'm going to just kind of start off with the zoom here, with the swoosh, I'm sorry. So I'm on curved line. And we're just going to, whoops, curved line, here we go. I'm just going to kind of click, 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 click around this swoosh. And it is a little tedious. I definitely recommend that you use a mouse for this, opposed to just a touchpad. And you want to, the more clicks that you have, the more accurate it's going to be. And I've been uh, working on this project for a while. You probably won't be quite as good at this as me, at least to start off with, which is fine. You want to connect it back. So then we have this swoosh, right? Now you are going to want to go right up here to the fill color. We want it to be transparent. And the border color, you're going to want to just have it be black also. Now, press escape if you misclick. Now I'm going to go, actually, we'll do this fill color as white for now, okay? And you'll start to see how everything will look all um, together. Cool? Um, all right, so now we're going to do curve line. We're going to do this next part. You really want to go through and no, like it's not going to be perfect and that's cool. Like it doesn't need to be like exact. Um, we're just going to go right over that swoosh. You'll see how it, how it goes. Okay. Now. I can click back on my cursor and then I can click right or right click on it and do order and then we send it back. So now you can see these different layers. Okay. We're just going to keep going. We're going to go around the whole shoe. I'm going to pause this video and then come back um, when each section is kind of done. All right. Well, that took me forever, but we're back. So now what you can do is we got it all traced out and we'll adjust the colors and things like that. The first thing is you want to click on that image in the background. You're just going to delete it. So we just have this, right? 
Now we can go through uh, on each section and now we can change these different colors. So um, I'm going to try to keep mine. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to like just add a whole bunch of color just to make it look um, make it look cool so we can kind of see and I don't like I'm not going to spend too much time of just of uh, picking colors. I'm just going to kind of I'm just going to kind of go. Now you can, as you you may have noticed, you can create a custom color, which is really cool. Um, and if you like this custom color, you can change the transparency of these two. Um, and that's always fun. Then if you do click on this and you want the same color, custom color, um, it will remember it for you. So like, here we go, custom color. So we'll go like that. We're going to go black. We'll go black laces. Sure, why not? I definitely am not really loving the colors of this shoe, but I think that you're getting the, the point of um, what we can do with this. Um, now, you'll notice I definitely made some mistakes, and I'm going to show you how you can adjust these. So you can double click, like see this one right here? I can double click and then I can kind of adjust some of these points to get them a little bit better. So like that way I don't have these, um, spaces. So you can adjust your clicks on your lines after the fact also. Um, now what you could, should also be doing is for each one of these, you don't want a border color. You want these border colors to be transparent. <coughs> Excuse me. And this will kind of help your shoe go through and make it look a little bit better, um, with this style. And like I said, I'm not really doing a great job of picking, uh, Picking the uh, colors. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want transparent. I want this fill color. Um, so I'll go through, turn off all these transparencies um, of the border weight, and your shoe will start to come together a little bit more. And don't forget, if you made some mistakes with your ordering, you click on the object, right click, and then go to order, bring the front, bring the um, back or whatever it may be. Now, as we go through here, I'm going to save you all the time, but remember you can just double click and adjust those different click points and your curve line will adjust. Now, so as we go through and get everything to be transparent, that looks, that looks good enough for this demo. What we can do is you hover over in this background, you right click and you go to background. Now we are just going, I want a gradient background and I think that this background would look um, pretty cool because it gets to highlight the shoe. Now you go up to insert, word art. We're gonna do, um, I'll just do my first name, but if you want to do like a nickname like Yeezy or um, whatever it would be, you can pick this, you can do the font. So maybe I'll do something like this. Maybe I'll do yellow on the outside, make it a four point thickness, um, Eric, and then like these, what air force ones. So I can go to insert. I'll do word art air force one. Go down here. You can like name your own shoe or you could just, uh, do a little copyright infringement on Nike with this. Um, and I don't like, it's not really a great font and stuff, but I'm not going to spend a ton of time adjusting these because it's just a demo video. Um, and that will kind of take you through how to, how to make this shoe, um, kind of look cool. It's great in Google drawing because you focus on a lot on some different skills that you don't practice much in class. But let me know if you have any questions. Um, bye.